Good Saturday, everyone. Space Camp this week wrapped up last night with graduation at TCAT, and and uh, what an incredible week it was. All kinds of kiddos, got nearly 50 kiddos go through Space Camp. So a, a wonderful experience there, and I think they all had a great time. They begged for it to come back next year, so that's got to mean something, right? Our weather map for today shows some showers across the southeast, but most of those should stay south and east of the plateau today. Strong severe thunderstorms across Nebraska and Iowa, as well as a flood risk across portions of Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And then more severe thunderstorms across the Dakotas and eastern Montana. Our five-day forecast watches by clear view, closet, and blind. Mostly sunny for our Saturday. Hot, highs near 90. It's going to be humid, too. Hot and humid again on Sunday with a 20% chance for an um, afternoon or evening shower or thunderstorm. So that's a slight chance. Definitely nothing to cancel plans over. But if you hear it thunder, definitely make sure you seek shelter indoors. Highs once again near 90. Uh, Monday, a little bit better chance for a shower or thunderstorm, up to 30%. And that will be our best rain chance for the five-day forecast here. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. And then temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday under partly cloudy skies. Overnight lows only falling into the mid 60s because it's also going to be very humid. Our hay weather forecast, good today, good Tuesday and Wednesday. I have fair on Sunday and Monday because of the higher humidity levels and that risk for an isolated shower or storm. On this day in 1952, the temperature at Nashville hit 100 degrees, the earliest date ever for a 100-degree reading in the Music City. 1991, some of y'all may remember the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, the second largest volcanic eruption on Earth of the 20th century. And in 2023, here's an interesting one for you. Scientists report that water pumped from underground reservoirs has shifted Earth's axis at the North Pole by 4.36 centimeters a year. With over a trillion tons of water extracted between 1993 and 2010, we've got a little bit better with our water conservation efforts since then, but there's still been a lot more water pumps since then. Just another consequence of humans <laughs> on this planet that you may not even thought about before. You folks have a wonderful Saturday. Stay safe in the heat. Take breaks in the shade. Drink lots of water. Stay in that pool. Have a wonderful day. Keep looking up for more weather information. Meteorologistmark.com.